is a physician practicing integrative and holistic medicine with her clinic Unbreakable Wellness and the founder of Unbreakable Moms, a resource for single moms to slash their stress, use their struggles as fuel, raise thriving kids, and regain control of their life. Please welcome the wonderful Huli LaRocca. Hey. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Uh, so what motivated you to create Unbreakable Moms? Ah, uh, I read the so, blog post, but I want everyone else to know. All right. Well, I don't really have patience for things that don't work. And so I decided to do something that I wanted to work. Mm -hmm. uh, so as you said, I practice integrative medicine. My journey started. I went to medical school, went to residency, decided that conventional medicine saw it very quickly that it didn't work at all. And so then I thought, OK, well, let me do a more holistic approach. Let me study integrative medicine. Let me start treating people as people and not as patients. And then I realized that even with an integrative approach, and holistic approach, people still didn't know how to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. And I realized that these are skills that nobody learns, that they have to be taught. They're not taught in schools. Mm -hmm. And so I'm backtracking it even more and now working to empower specifically the, the people, the population that I think needs it the most to learn how to best take care of themselves. And that's one, women, mothers, and especially the single mom. Amazing. Um, and she didn't mention this, but she, was pregnant in the middle of her residency training. So you were like helping people give birth while like creating life inside your body. And like I couldn't handle an unpaid internship and I, <laughs> I had no responsibilities. I lived at home. Um, so it's really incredible that you Thank were you. able to like take uh, an intense situation, a negative situation you were in and turn it around and help other women. Uh, what have been the biggest challenges you faced as a working single mom with side hustles and main hustles. You're also a musician, a writer, you run Unbreakable Moms and Unbreakable Wellness. Wow, you make it sound sorry, like a lot. I love, <laughs> love bragging about people better than me. <laughs> no, that's not the case. Um, I think the biggest challenge is probably trying to do it all. I, my friends will laugh, uh, they're here tonight. Uh, I am one of those people that believes that I can do it all. And trying, thank you, yes, uh, trying to find that balance, just like the, all of us are, between work and then also being a very involved, very conscious, very engaged, uh, very present parent for my young daughter, who's three, because I'm it, I'm the only one. It's just me and her 100% of the time. And I want to be there for her. And I could easily work 80 to 100 hours a week. I've done it before, but my relationship with her suffered. So it's, it's definitely finding that balance between still making progress, still wanting to impact and help women literally all over the world, and at the same time, help the most important woman in my house, which is my little girl. Damn, that's awesome. Um, can you discuss the unbreakable formula, uh, as well as your focus on self-compassion, self-care, and this phrase that I saw on your site, which Jane, who runs Boss Babes, mentioned this before, filling your cup before filling others. Yeah, I love that. I love that metaphor. So I always say that give from your overflow. Fill your cup first. Whatever flows over, that is what you give to other people. Anybody that says otherwise, I feel really sorry for them because you cannot give from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. The unbreakable formula, well, let's define unbreakable first. Unbreakable is not just resilience. So when people think of resilience, they think, oh, you're, you get knocked down and you bounce back up. But what unbreakable really is, is not even being broken down in the first place. It's a woman who can look a challenge in the eye and say, fuck that. What can I do to make this better? How can I learn from this situation? What is this teaching me? How is this a gift in my life to make it even better than it already is? Mm -hmm. So that's what unbreakable means, but how do we get there is really a two-part process. So it's coping and control. And coping is exactly that, filling your cup first. And how do we do that? Through self-care. And for a lot of people, that means many different things. It can, it's anything, and in my definition, it's anything that really kind of nourishes your soul, that actively re-energizes you, that actively gives you more energy and spirit and light and happiness and fulfillment. 
And that can either be through, you know, meditation is great, journaling, I talk about this all on my blog, um, spending time for yourself, taking baths. We all need to take more baths. Yeah, everyone uh, smells. Yeah, so. they really do. That's, yeah, essential oils, man. We need, we need more of those. Um, so filling that cup first is, is part, of the coping, part of the coping. And then the control part of it is looking at things and actually taking responsibility for whatever happens to you. Mm -hmm. So eliminating the victim mindset. Because I, I used to be very much in that. I'd say, oh, well, why do these horrible men keep coming into my life? Well, bitch, you brought them into your life. These were your decisions that you made that brought them into your life. I am fully responsible. So being able to take control, take that responsibility, immediately gives you the power to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And that's unbreakable. That's amazing. Fuck you, Dave Matthews Band concert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the, your favorite part of what you do, or maybe a favorite experience, whether it's with Unbreakable Moms or in your day job? I think, well, first of all, I gotta say, I love working from home. <laughs> As an introvert, uh, it's it's the best. I don't have to see anybody all day. It's just amazing. I love it. Any introvert, introverts out there? Yes. <laughs> Work from home. It's it's amazing. Uh, no, but but seriously, uh, the best part of what I do is the impact I get to have with other moms and with other women and just everyone in general. It's crazy. I have men reaching out to me sometimes about what I write um, because I'll be honest with you, I don't like posting on social media. I don't like being very public. In general, I don't like having to share my story, but this is so much bigger than me. Mm -hmm. I share my story so that other women don't feel alone, mm -hmm. that the single mom doesn't feel like she has to struggle on her own at all. And so when I post something, you know, inspirational or motivational, or I just say, you know, how I had a shitty holiday or how this was upsetting to me or the challenges that I face, when that resonates with somebody and they let me know about it and they say, you know, this brought me to tears or this gave me the strength to leave a relationship that I know I shouldn't be in, that's what fuels me every day. That's incredible. Yeah, her um, blog on, on unbreakable.mom uh, features like pretty much anything that a single parent would experience. There was one post about like dealing with New Year's and, and you posted a, a Valentine's post today. And it really puts things in perspective. Like, think of, you think like, oh, New Year's is so shitty, I have to pay like an $80 cover. Meanwhile, people are like, oh fuck, another year I'm alone, you know, raising my child. Yeah. I slept through a sandwich delivery on New Year's. And <laughs> that <laughs> sounds I have, horrible. I thought that was a big regret. And I'm like, like, put things in perspective, Meg. Um, who is a strong female leader in your own life? Uh, I'm gonna say my mama. <laughs> Just like, you know, a lot she's of here us. Right now. No, no, she's not. <laughs> I do that to get research. Yeah. She's she's really been a huge inspiration for me, kind of a unconditional support for me. Mm -hmm. Um it's, yeah, I'm gonna get emotional talking about my mom. I love her very mm -hmm. much. And um, you know, relationships with moms can be hard. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day they make you who you are and I'm I'm always grateful for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love my mom, but um, it also instills fear in me that I'm going to be like her. <laughs> her name is Diana Ross, and she very much lives up to the diva name. <laughs> um, what's the best advice you've ever received? Hmm, best advice is squeaky wheel gets the oil. Is that saying just be loud as fuck? That's okay. exactly that. Cool. I used to be very silent. Mm -hmm. uh, persistence and being loud as fuck is how you get shit done. Mm -hmm. Thus my vomiting all over social media mm -hmm. and getting people to notice mm -hmm. by just simply speaking up. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, what do you hope to see for the future of Unbreakable Moms? I really hope that it will inspire women and moms and really just families mm -hmm. all over the world to take responsibility, to take, take charge of their lives, to break through the limits that society has imposed specifically on women, specifically on mothers, specifically on female moms. Say, fuck all of that and go for your dreams, create the life that you deserve and that you're absolutely worthy of because we're all worthy of love and happiness and amazing things in our life. Here, here, you can clap for that. Yeah. Um, how, how can our audience 
member support you and your the program? You yeah, I just you know uh, finding on social media, following me, uh, checking out the blog, mailing list, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. The website is unbreakable .mom. There's a .mom now, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, all the social media is the unbreakable mom, so you can follow me there and really just get the word out, share it with other single mothers, so that they know where to find me and if. You know, you guys are around, and after the show, I'd, I'd love to connect with each and every one of you and just talk about, you know, be vulnerable and, and get to know each other, because that's what it's really about, just community and connection. Amazing. Well, thank you, Huli, so much for joining us. Uh, we have a show on the show. We get the strong female leader something from Dollar Tree, not a sponsor. Um, just, I have an investment with them. But we, I, they have these really problematic wine glasses. This copywriter needs a little self-care, and oh it says, God. "Wine is my Valentine." I don't That's know great. That. Yeah. That's great. And I have some gifts. Um, I know you have a child, but these are for you. Oh, thank um, you. <laughs> so don't let her play with the games. So don't let have games too. I really, you, I could have used that uh, glass of wine in my shower earlier when I was drinking wine as I was showering. Oh, that would have okay. been really nice. She does yeah. It all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.